today I'm going to compare popular VR games with their best free Quest 2 alternatives. Just to be clear, I'm not saying these games are just as good as the originals, but they should give you a somewhat similar experience for free. So without further ado, let's begin. First up, I have a great comparison for Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. It's called Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. It was actually a flat screen game that a fan ported to VR, and he really did a great job, so now it feels like a native VR game. It is 100% free on SideQuest. Next up, I have a great alternative to Minecraft. Usually people wanting to play Minecraft on their Quest 2 would use a program called Questcraft. That broke. So, while the devs are working to fix it, there is an app called Discovery. Discovery is a heavily inspired by Minecraft game. It's free on SideQuest, try it out. Next up, I have the perfect alternative for both Boneworks and Bone Lab. It is called Physics Playground. Obviously, it's not going to have all the features that are in Boneworks and Bone Lab. However, if you've never tried a physics driven sandbox game before, they're not for everyone, and this is the perfect opportunity to try it out before you buy the game. Make sure you like that style of gameplay, and you could do so with Physics Playground. It is free on SideQuest. It doesn't matter if you're looking to purchase Onward, Contractors, Veil. Any multiplayer first person shooter I have the perfect free alternative for, it's called Pavlov Shack. It is the beta version of Pavlov, the very very popular PC VR game. The developers are trying to bring it to the Quest 2, so they have had this beta on App Lab for a while. I believe it is the highest rated game on App Lab. It includes 5v5 multiplayer matches, it has great mechanics, great graphics. So if you want to try a multiplayer first person shooter for free, definitely try out Pavlov Shack first. I am a big fan of racing games, and what better racing game is there than a Seto Corsa? Too bad to play it, you need a gaming PC and also a racing wheel. In V Speedway Alpha, my alternative for Assetto Corsa, the cars might look blocky and it is definitely miles away from a sim racer, but it's free and has great mechanics including an invisible interactive steering wheel that works great. Chances are you've heard of Super Hot. It was actually the first game I ever purchased on my Quest, and I still play it to this day. My comparison or alternative for Super Hot is a game called Agent Simulation. Both games take place within a simulation, but it goes beyond that. The gameplay itself feels similar. In both games, you dodge bullets in slow motion, and you have to strategize slow motion fighting to proceed to the next level. This one you're really going to have to try out for yourself. Luckily, like all the other games, it is free, so definitely go try it out. If you've ever wanted to show a friend or a family member VR, the best way to do it is with a game like Richie's Plank Experience. However, if you don't want to spend the $15, there is a true knockoff. It's called Simple Plank Experience. You stand on a plank at the top of a skyscraper, and that's it. That's the whole game. Obviously, Richie's Plank Experience goes a little deeper than that, it has better graphics and stuff, but it's also 15 bucks. Simple Plank Experience is a free alternative for you that you could download today. Thank you so much for watching, here is a key to Golf Plus. I was a part of the beta test and the studio gave me an extra key to give out. It is a great game to hop into and just play a few rounds. If you are slow to get the key, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so next time I post a video, you could be the first one to it. Thank you so much for watching and have an incredible week.